Well, hello, hello, everyone. Welcome back to Side Quest and Elden Ring and the South Coast, which is weirdly the most death themed and pretty of them all. I mean, look at it. Look at all this. Stunning. Prettiest graveyard you've ever seen in your life. Especially now that the dragon's not in it anymore. In my experience, the presence of a dragon always dampens my appreciation for the aesthetics of a graveyard. Anyway... We're going this way, which is minus one furnace golem. And much easier to explore. As a result. Probably. I mean, it's not harder to explore as a result, that's for sure. I don't know what to expect down here, though. It's... Very far down. About as far down as I think we can go. In this part of the overworld. And part of it is clearly kind of underneath this landmass, but I... I assume it's not going to go that... It's not going to, like, extend that far. Maybe I'm wrong, though. I have no idea. We got some waterfalls there, so... I don't know. No idea what to expect. That's dangerous. Seems that the goats go golden pretty much anywhere there's regular thunderstorms. Which is some good silly ecology. Pictured here. Silly ecology. The fact that that one is rolling around like that all the time is a little conspicuous. I probably should actually. It's gonna drop something. It's gonna be like the little footstep things that you take out in the over. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. We are gonna have to hit this pinata. If possible. Maybe we can snipe it. You come back over here. Yes. And hold still. Ah, close. Get it. Ah, man. The discus is going to be way too slow. Maybe... Huckin' rocks. 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 No, oh, you're up here now. Okay. Um... So... Are we fighting? Rocks. You're ignoring me. I hate that. This will be somewhat reckless, but... I bet it'll work. Catch! That's right. Oh. I mean, it did do damage, though, so... Try, try again. Come on. That's the stuff. There you go. Rotted. Now we wait.
Mm, now we hasten things along. Yeah. Now we wait. There we go. Really thought I would drop something. Ouch. Sorry, Torrent. Nice lightning perfume bottle. That's cool. Did it drop that? Maybe. Or maybe that was just in the middle of this pond anyway. Whatever. We had to check. It is possible there's just not a whole ton else down here. A furnace golem. A couple items. We are pretty out of the way. Uh, oh. Hey. It's one of you. Um, you seem... like you're struggling a little bit here. Do you need help? Forager Brood Cookbook. Yes. Um. Is this foraging? Is that what you're doing? Well, thank you. Lightning proof pickled liver. Nice. Um. Thank you. Yeah, they're the expert. I don't need to go questioning their process. Now we're back in the gravesite plain again, just very down. Hmm. Didn't miss anything around here, right? Just to be sure. Don't think so. Okay. Then let's check out the base of the waterfall and then kind of up this hill on that rock because that might lead to like a cave or something. Or maybe like a way to jump up there. If not... Then I think we might be done down here. Hello, hello? Nothing. Okay. Then what about... Up this away. Torrent, I sure am glad we were given you very early on, because otherwise... Can you imagine how long all this would have taken... ...to explore? So long. Alright, there's... ...sort of... ...a bit of a path... ...kind of? Not really. No. Not really, no. But maybe... This way? Maybe something? Kind of? Sort of? Sort of? Sort of. Hmm. Eh. Gotta find a way. Hey, birds. Sorry to intrude. There we go. kind of feels like I'm climbing up toward nothing here, or I'm actually climbing up toward this, yep, I'm climbing up toward this canyon where I have been previously. Yeah. This was another way that I could sort of make my way down to this part of the map. I do like that there's options.
I like the way I got down here. Because it started with a huge dragon and then led right into all the pretty flowers. And didn't have a furnace golem right in the path. I think we might be done down here then. Hooray. We have covered all of the this, which means... Hooray, it's time to go over here now. Because I can't figure out... I bet... Okay, we got that one... Weeks ago at this point, we got that one imbued crystal sword key thing. And I, like, am still baffled as to where I'm supposed to use that, because that's how you... Up top... That is how you are supposed to use these little, uh, belfries and the little teleporters there to get to, like, three random places around the world. There's got to be another belfry around, and this is one of the places it's going to send me. That's my called shot. Well, here we go. Party time in the finger ruins of Rhea. This is going to be creepy and spooky, and there's definitely at least one very nasty boss down here. So these... Like, large fingers obviously have a lot of significance in this world, and we know really still next to nothing about them from the base game. Hands make sense. Uh, it looked... <sighs> I'm speculating, do you mind? It's gonna be a lot of this. It looks like this once had more, like, gold on it. Like, it might have been all gold at one point. And that's all been sort of worn away. Or it's gold underneath. This doesn't really look... Well, it does kind of look like a rock, but... And there is a little bit of that sort of... Three fingers frenzy kind of like fingerprint kind of texturing on them a bit. But yeah, I don't entirely know what to make of these. And I don't love how m just the sheer number of these I am seeing. I guess the small ones aren't too bad. If you just take it slow. Just gotta take it slow and not do that. Not be impatient and rush it. Come on. Single file, one at a time. Everyone come get your bunks. Actually, I know what we're fighting down here. It's in the center. It's gonna be like the biggest one of the hand monsters we've encountered yet. Goody. This place is fascinating, though. I'd really love to get just a little bit more on... What the fingers are in this world, what the two fingers are. Because they are the thing which communicates with the... Okay, some bigger ones here too. Great. They're the things which communicate with the greater will, but I don't get the sense that they are from space. I just get the sense that they were... 
Like, maybe they were from space originally, but they seem to be pretty naturally occurring down here now. Kind of like the meteorite beings, maybe. Maybe there's something that, like, came down here at one point. Maybe the heck, maybe this is sort of like the impact point where they entered this world and now they just sort of flourish. Oh, we missed. Go on. How do I want to initiate a fight with you? Fire works best generally. It raining right now probably doesn't help tons with that. You're not very staggerable, so claws probably not the best. We can at least open with magic, I guess, but... At least you are kind of staggerable. There we go. Don't care for it. There's another one. Okay. Frenzied Bursts doesn't have like a fire burning aspect to it, right? Nah. There you go. Guess we're leaning on guard counters. And if that proves to not work as well as I'd like, then I'll bring a basic fire incantation or something. That seems to do reasonably well. That, huh. A lot of hands, a lot of hands. I see a very interesting sort of tomb looking thing up there, though, which I previously have only noticed inside the walking mausoleums. No pouncing. Yeah, this. The place where you duplicate, uh... Yeah, all right. Another place we can duplicate these things. Rad. That's good, because I might want both of these dancing lion ones. Good. Good to know a place to do this. A lot of hands that way, which I maybe don't need to... Get into a fight with. Yeah, I feel like those smaller fingers inside the bigger six there are going to emerge and be a boss or something. I hope not. It's just where my expectation is right now. Very curious where that leads. Down there. Also... What? Like... Snake... Leech... Things? What are you? You are leech things. 
Hate it. Pearlescent scale. What a perfect unsettling creature. Leech with like a longer, a snakier body. Arms and kind of vestigial looking legs. What a wild thing. That this world could definitely use fewer of. I've only met two of you, but... It was too, too many already. Unsettled as I am down here, this location is... pretty incredible, though. What a place to find. Seeing more leeches. Kind of on the path in toward the center there, which I am not in a hurry to go to. Let's check out some other little corners. It does look like, from what I'm seeing, like we've got finger shapes, but also eggs. It looks like eggs. Is this where these finger things come from? Are the leeches kind of like the young? Or are... Is that what, like, the little hands are? I don't know. I'm... We've definitely found something fascinating down here, though. This is definitely a heck of a reveal, and whatever it means, it's upsetting. That's the one thing we can be sure about. Yipes. And... Finger Mimic. We should read a little. Exceedingly rare to find. A light pink mushroom resembling a wizened finger. Used by those who wish to become fingers to induce hallucinations. They call these mushrooms the stillborn of the two fingers. What? Pearlescent scales. A glassy and glistening fragment of pearlescent hue found by hunting lamprey. That's what they are. These retrograde scales are found embedded deep within the skin of a lamprey. And slightly less interesting, uh, the lightning perfume bottle. From time to time, perfumers set out on journeys to pursue new aromatics and flower gardens. Okay. Cool. I love that those exist, but not my top priority right now. I am dying to know more about this place, and I'm kind of glad that the enemy encounter rate down here is somewhat limited, because... Just more time to kind of soak this in and try to process. That leads to something, and I guess... I need to start dealing with a problem first. At least the lamprey... Well, on the one hand, the lamprey are reasonably easy to fight. On the other hand, they guaranteed have some really upsetting grab move. You know they do.
I have no doubt in my mind they have an upsetting grab move. I'd prefer not learn what it is. Neat magic you've got. It is interesting that these little things do have simple spells. Ah. Simple but reasonably effective spells. How am I missing you both? Ow. Oh boy. Careful. Hmm. More of that. Somewhere up here was what looked like a path almost out of the area to somewhere else. Kind of losing track of it now that I'm close. Here it is. Here it is. Where does this go? Y'all are real hard to hit from horseback. Surprisingly. Yeah. Guess that's just a sign I shouldn't fight on horseback with these things. I've had more luck on foot. Yep, yeah, there it is. There it is. Now. Called it a mile away. Maybe there's something to be said for fighting on horseback. <sighs> Can't decide if I'm happy to have been proven right. Feelings are mixed. No. Where am I? Oh, like further down here, like a little... There's like a little stretch of down here. Unless you mean to tell me that there is... Even further down I can actually get to... Oh boy, that's not... That's not what you want at all. Should maybe have paid better attention. Excuse me. Let's be up here. For the moment, it feels safer. Huh. What? I guess I'm still having magic fired at me. And hands. No! Do not want... Let's just deal with it. Get out of here! I hate you! And you also suck. Play frisbee. My spell's better. Though yours does have a cool little zigzag pattern to it. Stop. Anyway. Where is this leading? burned down structure over there. Is there actually something down here? I don't trust it.
Huh. This little part of the map is just full of surprises. Ghost, I would love an explanation of some sort. Finger Weaver's Hovel. Aha! My theory is proven true. The Finger Creepers hail from these ruins. So now must I sound this one hanging bell. And sweetly cradled shall I come to be. At the bosom of the exalted mother. Ooh. Exalted mother, you say? What on earth is this going to make? A glinting nail? A record of crafting techniques left by a determined student of the finger ruins. His brush with the sublime all but shattered his mind, though he was left capable enough to leave these few precious words. Just out of curiosity. What is that? Use FP to fire a shattering magic nail. Is that what these things have been shooting at me? I think it must be. Yeah. Nail stone with shining fingerprints floating above. The lampreys that guard the finger ruins resemble fingers far more than they do humans, and so the finger weavers imitated their sorcery. There is much to dislike here. Bears included. Are they rune bears? No. But are they bears... Keeping very questionable company? Absolutely, yes. It is so dark. Just in case. These bears are not to be trusted. Okay. Well, we've exhausted this little side path, which unfortunately means I need to go back to ground zero of Fingerville. Is this the same route I took? It's not quite. No, it is, but there's also the up here. What's up here? Hmm. Well, there's you, but not interested. Some more mushrooms. And a trap. Good enough for me. I'm leaving. I've got much worse places to be. I do not know what to expect anymore. Like, I was thinking... Giant hand boss emerging from the center, but the more I've seen, the less sure I am. Like, that sure, that could be what we're in for. But boy, I don't know anymore. 
Also, how wonderfully unsettling having all these, like... Little kind of, like, trenches and patterns dug into the ground here. Almost, like... At full size, probably just a very good fingerprint kind of looking pattern similar to the shapes and patterns, like... Kind of worn into these things regularly, but it also kind of gives the sense of these things having moved around. And left little trails in the dirt. Perfectly upsetting. Come back here. You're not getting away. It is very unsettling here. And yep, now I can summon help. I have got Tish on speed dial. What is happening up there? Oh, it looks like one sort of standing more upright and worshipping in some way. I want to put a stop to it. Whatever it's doing. Nope. Yeah, okay, that's different. Oh, it's sneak attack. I see. Not a fan. Oh, boy. What is grabbing me? Because I don't feel like it's there... It's that. What is shooting that? All right. We're mounting up and we're moving. Yes, we're angering all of them at once. But you are an issue. Go, oh boy. That's not good. Yeah. Okay, good. I'd rather not bring this fight into the center if I can help it. This is too many at once. I haven't really tried the claw. They've kind of been poising through some of the hammer hits, though, so... Ugh. The hits are fast, though, so this might get the job done. Ow. Okay. Look out. Ugh, boy, that hurts. This is doing it. Good. Yep, this seems to be doing the job. I'm so nervous about what I'm about to find. Nope. None of this. I see you. Dad. 
ใจ Either all these little small fry are the threat on the way in and it's just something important we're going to find in the middle oh that's where the bell is the bell to ring Oy. I don't love that I'm about to do that. Oh dear. This looks less like a bell and more like a horn of some sort. Huh. Well... Pickle. Oh, I guess it is sort of pickle-shaped. I might not have what I need to actually interact with this. Or maybe I'm just supposed to hit it. Sound the bell? No. Hmm. I don't... Hmm. A piece that came loose from the tip of one of the column-like stone fingers that grow at finger ruins. It feels like I need a specific item. Either, like, a key item I find somewhere in the world, or I'm supposed to use an item that's available to me and just sort of like it's a little puzzle. Let's finish exploring the surroundings and see if that sheds any light. Not gonna stop and fight all these things anymore. If I can help it. Hmm. There are a lot of them, though. Still. Yep. Like you. Dork. Is there anything else down here? Hands, sure. No thanks. More lampreys. Lots of large fingers. A lot of them pretty broken out this way. Where am I now? Just kind of the outer edge. There's like a little wall here that's formed. Hmm. Does kind of feel like I'm missing something I need. And I'm not sure I'm going to find it down here. Now might not be a terrible time to go back to that ghost and hear that dialogue one more time. 
Because the ghost mentioned the bell, and that looks pretty bell-like. It seems like the thing the ghost was talking about. I'm curious if there is any... If I hear that dialogue again, if... That'll shake an idea loose. Hmm. No, 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 none... None useful. Hmm. I am fascinated, but confused. Let's go, let's go ask the ghost. Hey ghost, could I trouble you to repeat that, please? There's a lot to absorb. Theory proven true, finger creepers hail from these ruins, so now I must sound this one hanging bell, and sweetly cradled shall I come to be, at the bosom of the Exalted Mother. There's... Exalted Mother. Is there any other... I feel like there are other items we might have found... here or there. Which have made mention of the Exalted Mother, or, like, what we... What I am assuming is the Formless Mother we heard of back in the Lands Between. I don't know if any of those items are an actual... ...thing that could be used for interaction of some sort, though. I'm kind of feeling more like it's likely... ...I need to keep exploring elsewhere, and some... ...item is going to eventually pop up or some character that is going to direct me back here. I guess we find here the Finger Weaver's cookbook, and they made the glinting nail. Like, I can try using a glinting nail there. Can I make one now? No, yeah, I need more nail stones here. I will go collect another nail stone and see about making a glinty nail and try using it there just to see on the off chance. I don't think that's going to happen, but just in case. Okay, okay. I got enough to make one. And I really don't think this is going to do anything, but it's... My only clue, my only lead. Yeah, and it like looks like this person's actually like blowing in it like more like a horn. Yeah. It's cool that that's how you can use that magic, but no. I think we need like another item to actually do anything here. So, let's leave. That sounds like a great idea to me. Heck, maybe the direction we need to go to get something we're missing for this is further up here. What if that? Is it night right now? It's late night right now. Is anything happening over here? Probably not, and I'm going to feel very silly if, like, this is a red herring and I'm totally misunderstanding about what I was told to look for. You can't really, like, go further into the mouth, right? Feel silly for not checking before. But... No. I'm paranoid about missing something now. Probably already have. It's night time. Is night time the right time? My dear Lord, as he decides, tonight, like every night, my solace is yours. May it grant you sleep 
in your place beyond time. So, about that, um, I'm not sure they can hear you. And I'd prefer not get into any more detail than that. If that's okay. You t oh. Hmm. Hmm. I got a lot of runes on me right now is the thing. Also, I'm not... UI, could you be more specific? Use on whom? Her? Myself? Details. I mean, I feel like I gotta do it. Ugh, I'm so paranoid about what this means. Ugh. I'm a little terrified of what's going to happen. But this is like... It's clearly a direction a quest line can go kind of feels similar to, like, getting that, uh, Celibus potion, which you can give to, like, you can, like, do two or three or four things with. But making that choice does have ramifications, right? A variety of them. Depending on where and how you use it, but... Eh. I am entirely too curious. Let's... Fine. Fine. I don't even know if this is me drinking it or giving it to you, but... Fine. Use Teolia's concoction. Um. I think you're snoozing. That's better than the alternative. Um. Nervous. Nervous about choices. Um. Well, you're still asleep. I hope this wasn't a bad idea. But, it's the choice I made, isn't it? Well... Hopefully... Something will come of that. Hopefully, hopefully something good. But, um... For now, let's call it, and tomorrow... Let's go ahead and... Perhaps... Yeah, I feel like that's the thing to do. I... Don't think I have almost anything else to do out and around here. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's start going up the Jagged Peak. Been putting that off too long. I will see you all tomorrow for that. Take care. Goodbye.